Hi, I'm Sharon Newman. I'm a program manager on the IE team. And today I'm going to show you an example of rounded corners and how this helps you achieve same markup. On the IE team, we've been talking a lot about same markup. And what we really mean by that is that we want you to be able to write your code once and for it to work in all browsers. And here on my screen, you can see that I have a basic div with rounded corners, and it's working the same. However, we do know that there are some cases where the same markup does not achieve the same results. And on the IE team, we're working with W3C, with web developers, and we're trying to improve the situation. So I'm going to show you this example in a little more detail and talk about what we can do to make it better. I'll start off with the basic div. And you can see it's got rounded corners working the same on all browsers. Over here is the code that I have in the style sheet to achieve this. And you'll actually notice that we have three separate border radius properties. The W3C standard border radius property. As well, we have dash moz border radius and dash webkit border radius. We actually know that right now, Firefox and Safari do not support the W3C standard property. So in the style sheet, we've included all three of these properties. It was pretty painless, and it helped us achieve the same result. If we try to do some more interesting changes to our div, in this example, I have just the top left corner is rounded. And in this other div, I have each corner is rounded with a different radius. And you can see that that top left corner didn't work out in Firefox. And all these different radiuses, radii, did not work out in Safari. However, interestingly, they did work in Chrome. Kind of interesting, two browsers, Chrome and Safari, both built on WebKit, and yet they didn't achieve the same result. So to fix this example, I'll show you the code that we used. In the pink, pink box, the top left corner, I use the W3C standard border-top-left radius. However, the Mozilla naming of that property is actually just slightly different. It's dash moz dash border dash radius dash top left. So once I corrected that naming difference, now I've achieved the same result. For the green div with the different radii on each corner, in IE and Firefox and Chrome, I was able to use border radius and set multiple values on that property, one for each corner of the div. However, in Safari, that didn't work, and I had to expand to list each corner property individually. And now I can see that it did work in Safari. Finally, moving on to the last example, we have a border that's just slightly more styled. This border has dots, and as well, the top width is different from the bottom, which is also different from the two sides. And you can see that we just didn't achieve the same result in these four browsers. So what do we do about it? How do we really get to the point of same markup achieving same result? Well, on the IE team, obviously one thing we're doing is supporting more properties, more CSS, more DOM, more HTML. As well, many members of our team are working within the W3C working groups, so that when we see differences like these, we can bring it up in the working groups and discuss among multiple browser vendors what should the right behavior be? What do we really want the end result to look like? Lastly, we are also bringing test cases to the W3C. In IE8, we had over 7,000 test cases submitted to the CSS working group. And already in IE9, we have submitted more test cases. You, as a web developer, when you see differences like these, you can also submit them to the working groups and get, express your own opinions. Lastly, if you have rounded corners in your web pages, make sure that you use the W3C standard border radius property so that when IE9 is delivered and when Safari, Safari and Firefox start supporting that property, your web pages will just work. Mm -hmm.